Hey guys, Timeless here. Gonna do a long play of Civilization V Brave New World uh, as Venice. I'm gonna focus mainly on a, a, a Diplo victory, but domination is also turned on. But yeah, uh, the, the list of mods that I'm using are in the description below. There'll be links to all of the mods too. But this looks like a pretty pretty decent start. I know it, it's on the true start locate or true starting locations, but the resources around us look quite nice. There's some coffee instantly in our lands. We've got some fish, we've got some sheep. And there's some gold a bit further along up there, which I may need to uh, work towards getting before Ragusa does. Okay. okay. So let's work on scouting out the land now. I'm going to go early for uh, the free... Um, the free great city state near um I may leave the free great merchant for a while. Oh, we've got another city state. Me oh and we've got a lot of city states and is that is that gonna be Venice or is oh, not Venice, sorry, Rome. Is that going to be Florence down there? Now that could change our strategy. That looks like Genoa. Yeah, Genoa and and the Vatican. So yeah, perfect. Perfect for our religion. So let's aim for the early great general. I think there's another one there too. Is that there's Zurich up there, yeah. So we'll be spoilt for choice with the city states around us. So far, plodding along quite nicely. I think technology-wise, I'm going to aim uh, for run first, considering this is deity, and then head for my free great merchant, and then probably push towards philosophy just to, to keep up with the rest of the the sieves. borders have grown and we've met the Vatican and they should push us towards a pantheon I believe we need two two more faith to create a pantheon which we should hopefully get from Zurich next turn so if I buy that just to buy it outright and then buy that and hopefully be able to aim for the gold next just to get our borders growing a little bit. Ah, the underlit in new uniform. Okay, so the Danish are in the game. Harald Blåtand byder dig velkommen. So there will definitely be war at some point. And the Dutch. Well, it'll be interesting to see who makes up Europe right now. Ah, oh, it's Zurich, of course. They're not a religious state. It's Geneva that's the religious one. Of course. Not Geneva, sorry. Genoa. No, Genoa there. No, it, it was Geneva. I was right the first time. Okay, so we've got our scout out now, finally. So, let's go and meet some sieves. Um, I'm going to have to switch to the shrine as soon as it becomes available. Oh. Okay, so Byzantium are in the game also. We've got these mountains here, so they'll be handy for the observatory later on. Can we 
buy that gold tile? Yes, we can. Okay, so we've secured a source of gold. And switch to piety just to get that shrine built. Because it really is a race against time now. On deity trying to get a religion. Especially when you're not a civ that's set up for religion. Which Venice isn't, but religions are handy. No matter what. Okay, so Prague have got some lapis lazuli and some copper. So the city-states around us could play quite nicely in the, the future, because so far we haven't met any of the other city-states civs. Dios bendiga a aquellos que lo merezcan. Soy Isabel de España. They've already got right in. <coughs> oh, sorry guys, just having a quick drink. Okay, so there's Poland. Yeah, Wielki. Espero que este trato reciba su bendición. No, let's not let anybody see how shit we are yet. Especially not Anish, seeing as they like to go to war. We are pleased to meet you. A <coughs> bit of a delayed reaction there from Elizabeth. Okay, so we're growing quite nicely. We're size yeah, three. Yeah, really. One more turn, we'll be size three, and we'll get this shrine out in a couple of turns. Push towards a religion, hopefully. Now, there's a few pantheons that have started to grow now. So we are quite behind in the Pantheon um, pursuit. Okay, so I'm boxed in there, but there's another city-state there, probably Bras Bratislava. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with... No, I wouldn't be interested. Probably need to. Oh, it's Budapest. Oh, so they could be our. Uh, they could supply our military for us. Uh, maybe I should have gone for that tile, actually. Balls. Still pissed off that we walked through their lands all them years ago. Jesus. I'm not too concerned that the Vatican have started to take some tiles over there. Because eventually we'll, we'll absorb them into the Empire and the tiles will be ours anyway. But for now it may, may hinder early growth, but we're kind of boxed in with the city-states that are around us. But we are nestled nicely in a nice defensive location. And by the looks of it, yeah, we haven't got any sieves that could just march straight in through the only opening, really. The easy opening into our 
territory. So that's good from a defensive standpoint because we are quite weak early game, Venice. Until we can get those Galliuses out, we are quite vulnerable. So the Pantheon is going to be a struggle to really get. So we was hoping that we could use the profit of uh, the merchant, sorry, to force through a religion, but we may have to use it just to stay on track to get in one. Um, let's get the monument, get some more culture going. May switch immediately to the library though once we writing pops out just to keep the science going. I think that's probably the best plan. We need a worker as well. We desperately need one of these city states to put out a worker. Okay, so let's get the extra religion growing. We are now up to 30, and I'm not entirely sure which Pantheon to go for. But we may get the worst of the bunch, we may just have to pick one just to take one. That doesn't really give us a benefit. I have to ensure that they aren't pissed off when we use the pro- Or the merchant, sorry, on them. Okay, bring him back up this way. quite happy that um, Rome aren't in the game because that would definitely be an, would have been an early war and they're an early aggressor sorry about that so the scout didn't really have a nice nice time there did he but he's leveled up a little bit he's gained a little bit of experience from that there's another city-state there, Malta. Okay, so we are well protected with the city-states that are around us so far. He who. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh well, there's one scout dead. I fucked up there. the golden rule just because I can't see them doesn't mean that they can't see me right it's oh I see what happened they bought the tile and then led him to his death fucking bastards Fucking hell, somebody's already got a religion. Holy shit. Fuck me, I don't even think we're going to get a religion. Ah, oh, it's probably the Ethiopians. The game loves putting the Ethiopians into, into it when it's domination because of them. Oh, hello. Oh fuck, but I'm, I need to use those to get on good terms with them. Alright. Have to wait until Genoa or one of the other ones puts out a, uh, a worker. No. It really does piss them off. It only reduces by one per turn, but we should be neutral with them by that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's get up 
the worker, thank you very much. Let's build the library. Okay, so let's get that tile sorted before one of the city states grows into it. Jesus Christ, the Dutch are taking advantage of all the spare land going. Fucking hell. Oh, I can already see some of the Spanish borders there as well. Okay, so should we get the luck sorted first? working yet have I so I can't chop down those trees. Or is it mining you can chop chop down trees? It is, yeah. So I could chop down these trees. Just to put some extra hammers into the list actually with this worker. And I could it would be risky, but I could go steal another worker from Ragusa. And then get the two of them. And then Venice will be up and running very quickly. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. Fuck the consequences. If they all declare war on me straight away, fuck them. I don't think they will, though. I think they'll just be pissed off with me. Luckily, uh, Alexander isn't in the game. Or at least I haven't met him, but I would have met him if he was in the game. Because of his proximity. So let's put some hammers into that. Let's chop down that forest. Oh, usually chop down forests so early, but yeah, this this library is going to take a while because we haven't got that many hammers here. And we need fifty to get a pantheon. Fuck me. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting a Pantheon in this game. Might actually be easier to see um, with the free merchant. Just to get some culture coming in. Ah, shit. So they knew what was coming. This way. Could get him off Sophia actually. Just need an extra worker somewhere. So he's put some hammers into there, which has reduced that massively. We can rush out this library, at least we'll be able to have some semblance of science. <laughs> Cool. So we know what sailing is. We've still got 16 turns until Optics comes out. So he's put the... Yeah, they knew what was coming, I think. And they're probably going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to keep the warrior there. Just in case. I don't really want to steal him. Jak ci się podoba? I would much prefer. Fuck. So they've got the Temple of Artemis. That's quite come out quite late. So the Great Library being built yet? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> perfect. So Spain and Byzantium will get pissed off, but I'll just apologize immediately and hope they forget about it. And let's see what they say now. So yeah, they already dislike me. Yeah, pretty much everybody already dislikes me. I have a 
fuck it. Okay. So there's no point pushing, carrying on down this path. So let's switch back, let's switch to tradition and get the start heading down that path. Jak ci się podoba moja oferta? Yeah, go on and start opening up embassies with people. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? Fucking hell, she's already making plus 40 a turn. Okay, so let's grovel and apologize. Yeah, we're really sorry for starting war for a worker. But you gotta understand the situation, guys. To bring him round the long way, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Get the scout to accompany him. Bring the warrior back home. Okay. So considering that the mountains are free, maybe I should get the mountains all wrapped up now. Because this, oh, they've captured the deer there, bastards. We have some sheep and some fish. It's not a great location. Not a great... Sorry, the location's pretty good, but it's the, the tiles around us. The resources haven't, haven't been kind to us. So. There we go. My mouse is working again. Weird bug I get where the mouse just stops working. As you see, it disconnects and then reconnects and works again. Anybody's got any suggestions in please let me know what, that could, what the cause of that could be so the pyramids have been built so this is this is developing quite nicely so far for us above par growing at an acceptable level We're, Perfect, we're going to get the library out next turn. Maybe start building some farms across here on this worker. Because this guy's going to go get the gold for us. So do we put some turns into getting that work boat out? Or do we get some defense? Yeah, let's get a trireme just to go and explore the, the Mediterranean. Because yeah, even the city states have more military units than us. At this moment in time. Of dat ik iets heb wat u enig belang zal inboezemen. Ja, yeah, oké. Okay. So London's fucking massive. Alrighty. Okay, so let's get the scout get off exploring again. Growth is awful. And here comes fucking William here. Oh, fuck you, guy. Oh shit, we got a Parthenon. We actually got one. So, am I gonna have to change plans again? rests at minus 20 so they are very pissed off with me so they know they they know i've been to war 
So maybe I'm just going to go for the culture anyway, just to keep myself on track. Because the religion's a lost cause. There's already stuff. Yeah, I'm never going to get one. Even with their added religious bonuses. So what should I go for until a religion takes over? Maybe get some extra growth. I'm not going to get a religion, so I might as well use what I can to my advantage, especially now if uh, the English have just built Stonehenge, they're going to fly through and probably beat me. Because, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get in a hundred turns at this rate. So I feel like I wasted two social policies now, but never mind. At least then when I need some gold, the temples will be handy. I could switch to that. He's happily working on his mine, he's happily working on his farm. Look at our social policy in six turns. When are we going to grow next? We're going to grow again in one turn. So I may buy this tile just to cement up this bit of our land. 20 gold. We are growing quite nicely because of Doge's Palace. Helping us out loads. So Bucharest. We need to get those on side too. I have to hope that Genoa and Ragusa and the Vatican forgive me. And Budapest. Quite lucky that Prague were just outside that influence sphere. Well, Zurich have... don't care either. So... I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. Because they're closer. Strange. city-state. I love how early the wars start. The part of the world I have met. So, yeah. So Poland don't care. But the others do. So William dislikes my war monks. He's covered to my land. He made an instrument and dislikes my war monks. So he's gonna go to war with me to steal my land. Great logic, William. Great logic. Okay. So the lighthouse will probably help the most. Round about now. Or do I get a work boat out? Just yeah, a work boat. Maybe a cargo ship. I don't know, the cargo ship's gonna take too long. Let's get the work boat focus on growing first. Okay, so now let's head towards philosophy. So three more turns. Yeah, there's no way we're going to get a religion. Even if things had worked out in our favour and the Vatican weren't pissed off with us. So 
London fucking hell already in the medieval era. Holy shit. I'm not even in the fucking classical era. Jesus Christ. Williams in the medieval. Holy shit. Yes, now that I've got these two growing, I could uh, maybe make a mine there just for some extra production. So there's the Ruskies. I'm going to need to fortify this fucking area. Приветствую тебя, незнакомец. Если твой ум и такт сравнимы с твоей привлекательной... Most of them liberty or piety. None of them that I've met so far have gone tradition. So, it could be an argument to change my production because I'm going to need the canals to start generating merchants. But I'm going to need philosophy too. So maybe I, yeah, I'm going to come back for that. I'll come back for the canals. It'll be the next. Thing to go for. Ah, I should have gone that way to meet that city state balls. soon as well just to defend myself. So at least I'll get them next turn. Twenty turns. So let's see how that affects it, because I think they'll probably give me plus six, I believe. So if I throw them some money as well, straight after it, just to get them on side, or to cement them on side. So there's the Carthaginians. Good day. with them first. Let's throw them some extra gold just to secure it for a while. Let's buy a cargo ship just to get going. Just to get our trade undergo underway. Cause we might be able to hit Constantinople. Play nicey nicey with them for now, but the rest of the time they can fuck off. So yeah, they knocked about eight culture there. 